Make the money, spend the money. Make the money, spend the money. I just be wanting to make everybody happy. I don't want to look older in the face, personally. I just feel like that's what alcohol do. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hey. I did want to touch on this topic y'all because I have been seeing so many videos about micro habits that people have incorporated in their life to help them change their life. But for me personally, I feel like I can add to this topic for things that I want to currently incorporate in my life to help me change and level up. The first thing for me personally is stop making excuses and exiting my lazy girl era. At first, I didn't want to admit that I was lazy or I have moments where I'm lazy. I feel like I'm pretty productive throughout the day, but the things that I complain about are things that I have control over, right? So if I find myself lounging around too much, if I'm not working or just not doing things that's really Really gonna add to me making a change in my life for this current moment that is what I consider as being lazy I complain a lot to myself and to people I'm close to about things that I want out of life or changes that I know I want to make but the times where I have free time outside of work I sometimes lounge around and I don't do anything. I personally love making content, but I tend to get caught up in trying to make things perfect or waiting for the perfect time. When in all actuality, y'all, there is no perfect time. You have to take advantage of the moments that you have available to you outside of work. Me personally, I work a nine to five. So I do work consistently Monday through Friday, but then on the weekends, I'm like, girl, you could be using this time to really create content and put yourself in a better position. So I personally have to exit my lazy girl ever when it comes to that. I don't consider myself completely lazy in a sense where I don't utilize my days, but the times that I have available that I can be utilizing and maximizing, I don't. The next thing I have on my list is getting back into a healthy morning routine. Y'all, I preach about this on my TikTok all the time time when i tell you having a morning routine is essential for me personally because i work i personally need about two or three maybe four <laughs> maybe four hours before I clock in to myself to kind of mentally prepare myself and also get myself right for the entire day if I don't have those hours before work y'all I sometimes have a bad day and that's just being honest so if I really want to put myself in a better position and level myself up I have to consistently make myself a priority and making myself a priority for me personally is taking time out of my days to really pour into myself if that consists of making tea making coffee making my matcha going to the gym reading journaling whatever the case may be before you hop into serving other people that's how I personally feel it's nothing wrong with working a nine to five but I feel like you still have to have something to yourself and me personally I think the morning is the perfect time if you have time if you can push yourself to get up earlier to kind of give yourself some time to yourself I promise you once you consistently do that over time it will make a big difference and i'm talking to myself as well if i don't tell you anything else number three on my list y'all is managing money and budgeting baby <laughs> baby <laughs> When I tell y'all I can relate to this so much, I've shared this a little bit on my vlogs, but I haven't made a real video like talking about it. So I'll include it here as far as something that I do want to continuously do to level myself up and put myself in a better position. When I tell y'all I really didn't care about finances, I did not care about finances, I did not want to talk about money, I just want to make it and spend it. <laughs> literally make the money spend the money make the money spend the money that was my mentality I always knew and I still feel this way to this day but I always knew the money would come back because I knew that I was blessed that's how I look at it I'm like I'm blessed God got me money gonna come back I'm gonna just spend it but baby I got in a hole I got myself into a bad hole last year in November and baby when I tell y'all that put me in a different type of situation and a different type of mentality I was like, okay, I got to get myself together. I have to figure out what I need to do to get myself out of this hole and start managing my money better and budgeting. Baby, you cannot pay me to budget a couple years ago. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> So the more that I incorporate that habit in my life right now, I already know that's going to set me up better for the future. Number four is being consistent with my content. Now this might not be something specifically for you, but if you have like a side hustle or something that you do on the side, 
outside of work being consistent with that you never know what kind of position that could put you in and that goes for me and you i personally am not a fan of like working for other people i will do it if i need to which i'm currently doing i don't have a problem with my job but as a long-term goal for me y'all is literally to work for myself and do whatever it is that i want to do and i know that content creation for me personally is going to be my outlet and I feel that very strongly. So me incorporating a habit of filming every single day, even if it's something small, like a little TikTok or a little reel or short, whatever the case may be, that is what's gonna put me in a better position. And I already know it because I naturally feel like people gravitate towards me on the camera. Y'all love me and I love y'all too. I always get positive comments about my energy, my positivity, my personality. And I'm like, oh my gosh, People love me <laughs> and I love y'all. But on a serious note, I know that incorporating that habit every single day, like clockwork, baby, you cannot tell me that's not gonna put me in a better position. At the end of the day, you are going to grow at some point. Every day is gonna get better. That's how I look at it. So the more I create, the more I can learn from, the better videos I can produce. And over time, the bigger my audience will become. So that is definitely a habit that I'm trying to really stay consistent with y'all that I know will make a big difference for me. Number five is maintaining a healthy diet and working out baby the better you look the better you feel and for me personally creating a habit of going to the gym at least four to five times a week consistently every single week like clockwork is gonna make me feel great and it's gonna help me look great which is ultimately gonna add to me becoming better and leveling up as a woman your girl is about to be 30 next year so i know things is gonna slow down pretty soon so i need to make sure i'm really on my a game with working out and eating right i don't do the best with the eating part because i love me some snacks girl i love me some snacks but i do enjoy going to the gym a small habit like going to the gym y'all can have big results for you i'm telling you baby i'm telling you listen to your girl learn from me i went from being overweight losing weight gaining weight losing weight gaining weight and the best that i've always felt is when i'm at a good healthy weight number six is limiting my alcohol consumption now that kind of ties into my diet in a sense i don't drink a lot of alcohol y'all but if i'm just being honest alcohol can make you look a little old and it make you look old in a way where technically i'm only 25 but i'm looking 30. I don't want that for myself. If I want to level myself up, I have to make sure that I keep my youth as much as I can. And alcohol is not going to do it for me. Now, wine and champagne, I'm cool with that, you know, here and there. But the hard liquor, y'all, I'm so over it. I went out probably like a week ago or two weeks ago and took some shots, girl. Woke up the next morning. I regretted it. I'm like, this is not for me anymore. I don't want to look older in the face, personally. I just feel like that's what alcohol do. And I don't want to feel like I'm just so tired and exhausted. That's not going to help me. Creating a habit of just not just drinking every time you stress or drinking every time you bored or drink... Y'all, we gotta let the drinking go. We have to let the drinking go. It's not doing anything for us. Doesn't mean that you can't drink. I just feel like it doesn't need to be every single weekend and it does not need to be every time you get off of work, personally. And that's no shade to anybody that's doing it. But baby, we are trying to level up and do bigger and better things. We don't have time to be drunk, y'all. <laughs> Number seven is staying disciplined with my goals, baby. Personally, I always do everything I say I want to do, but sometimes I drag it out, right? Sometimes it takes me a couple months, couple years to finally reach my goals. So I really need to kind of like narrow down like a time frame on small goals and just let them just build over time. Making it a habit to create small goals and accomplishing them throughout the year. I personally think it's better than just having so many big goals that's just gonna take years and years to come. It feels so good saying, okay, I'm gonna create a small goal for myself. Once I accomplish it, I can celebrate that and then I can do it again and I can do it again and I can do it again. But I think incorporating small goals for me personally and accomplishing them is gonna ultimately get me to my bigger goal. So try not to focus solely on the big goal and just create small goals for yourself. So that way you can actually feel like you're accomplishing something and it don't feel like, oh my Oh my gosh this is taking forever we are going to start celebrating our small wins okay number eight is getting in a habit of doing more research that's gonna put me in a better position i just be thinking that if i create content and i put it out there it's gonna do well but 
I need to get in the habit of at least on a day-to-day -day basis researching some things, studying other people's content, learning things from other content creators that I can implement into my content but in my own way. Y'all, that is something I need to really start doing. I know that will make a difference. I can't just think that I know everything, right? I just think sometimes like, oh, people love me so if I put it out there, they're gonna like it. No, that's not true, okay? That doesn't mean people don't like you and they don't support you. For me personally, getting into the habit of doing more research and really trying to figure out different ways that I can excel within my content space, y'all, is definitely essential for me. Number nine, y'all, is looking more put together and changing up my style. It's nothing wrong with my style that I have right now, but the woman that I want to become and I see for myself, she dress a lot more classier. So getting in the habit of just picking up small pieces here and there that can kind of tie in together later on is something that I want to start doing because personally, I love the clean, put together look that certain women have. I'm like, oh my goodness, she just looks so grown, right? And I'm about to be 30, y'all. I'm about to be 30. Oh my goodness, I'm about to be 30. So on a serious note, y'all, I'm about to be 30. So I feel like the older I'm getting, the more mature I want to look. Like, is that just me? But it's nothing wrong with how I dress, y'all. But sometimes, like, the shorts be a little too short for me. I'm kind of over that phase. Certain things that I wear, I feel like it looks a little childish. And I personally, I don't want to look childish. I feel like I want to look like a grown woman. So getting in the habit of shopping more modestly, as they say, is something that I want to start doing. And it doesn't have to be a lot. I'm not saying that I'm just about to look completely different. But I do want you to start looking at me and like, okay, she, she looked put together. She looks well put together. She looks very sophisticated, you know? That's how I want to look, y'all. And that is something that I know will help me level up as well because baby your looks matter okay looks can get you very far people don't really talk about it and i don't want to get too much into that but looking more put together y'all can definitely put you in different kind of rooms and have different kind of conversations with people i'm just saying number 10 on my list y'all is creating boundaries and sticking to them one thing for sure two things for certain I have boundaries. Of course, I have boundaries in my life, right? With people and things that I decide to get into and not get into. But when it comes to people that I really care about, y'all, sometimes my boundaries go out the door. Okay, they go out the window. That's something that I personally want to start doing is implementing and creating and standing on boundaries, y'all. Because I know for me personally, I'm such a people pleaser sometimes, especially when it comes to my family and friends and close ones, that sometimes it can hinder me from doing certain things. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be able to create boundaries, stand on those boundaries, and allow myself to grow over time. That to me is something that I'm continuously learning and growing and trying to navigate. So implementing that as a habit for me is definitely something that I really need to work on. I should have put that as number one, y'all, because girl, I just be wanting to make everybody happy. And sometimes, girl, that is not always gonna happen okay and we have to be okay with that those are my 10 micro habits that i am currently incorporating in my life to put me in a better position as a young lady and just growing as a woman so if you have any tips or micro habits that you want to incorporate or you have incorporated in your life and you notice that it's making a difference for you share below in the comments girl we want to talk about it we want to share there's so many things that i'm sure other people can offer to other people that they can learn from so that is it for me y'all i hope y'all like this video i know it's different outside of my vlogs but i feel like i can definitely pour more into women of my age and older or younger i personally feel like as i'm growing i should speak more and if i can learn from other women and they can learn from me then that's all that matter right right so i see y'all later bye